Happy Monday morning from St. Thomas. St. Thomas Peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Polly's Island Peeps. Today is Monday. I think it's November 21st, isn't it? Yes. Is it the 21st? Well, it's good to forget the date when you're on vacation. But yes, it is the 21st. Are you sure it is the 21st yes. and it is Monday? <laughs> and it's time for your Polly Zone Sunrise and Circle Court. We're here at the harbor of Charlotte with Davi Clayton. I'm a lolly. And Lisa Clayton. 79 degrees here in award winning St. Thomas. Hi today. Looks like it's only going up to about 84, and it's a 40% chance of rain. We had a little rain yesterday. That was a low. It was a little bit. Sun's. Fortunately, it did start a little later in the day, so you had most of your day to enjoy. Sun still rises from the east. <laughs> there it is. It's coming. And then it falls. In the west. You're gonna make him sick going back and forth. I know. Ocean temperature here is 83 degrees. We're going to get some snorkel and stuff here in a little bit. Lots of great places. Of course, uh, travel tip when you go to islands where there are reefs, you need the reef, safe reef sunscreen.
And I would say you should wear that anytime. True. Wind's coming from the east at about 19 miles an hour right now. Kind of tucked into a little cove. Yeah, we're blocked. I love it. It's kind of mountainous here. Check it out. It's kind of mountainous. Check it out. Yep. Let's show them. So, this is what's behind us. It's all mountainous. Reminds me a lot of Guatemala. It does um, as you're driving in. Yeah. As far as the landscape. Yeah. Now here the houses are a little bit nicer. Yeah, a lot bit nicer. Yeah. So there you have it. Official sunrise time. First off, the sun is setting later here, of course, because we're closer to the equator. It set last night at 542, and the sun is rising sooner, 628. We're also an hour ahead of you, so that's why we're not doing this live, because I'm going to wake you all up, because when it's 6... 28 here it's 528 there we didn't want to wake y'all up so we're just recording it aren't we thoughtful <laughs> listen to the roosters. I'm loving the roosters i know i miss our rooster we used to have a rooster what was his name bailey boy bailey boy that's right So we told you the ocean and the air are about the same temperatures. Mm -hmm. High tide is this morning right now. 6.43. Yep, 6.43. And then the low tide is 1.08. That's right. We have another high tide this evening at 6.06. .06. There you go. So it's kind of funny that it seems like the time goes backwards instead of forwards. Cause like we would have 6.03 and then it would go out to like 6.43. It's exactly the same. I don't think so. It is. Okay. The ocean tides are exactly the same. Well, it's the same ocean. This is the Atlantic. Yeah, I know. We're just much further south. And that's going to make a difference, I think. You think? So... Like, we would have 606 and then 643. Remember, it goes out further. Like, time goes further away. I don't think so. It does the same thing. See? 643, high tide. It's 108 p.m. So, that's about six hours. See, that? That it is exactly no, the same. No, 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 no. You're not getting what I'm saying. I am. I mean, I know it's... <laughs> I mean, if this said 606, then this would say 143. So it's the difference that matters, right? We'll talk about it. Yeah, there's a point there, I, I think. <laughs> if any of you know what we're talking about, let us know. <laughs> I do. Do you? I'm trying to explain it. It's okay. You got to get some coffee in you. Oh. Now note, there is uh, no coffee establishments close by. So we make fresh coffee in our room. Nice. <sighs> Luckily, mom is a coffee person, so we enjoy fresh coffee with her in the mornings. Y'all ready for some good news? Speaking of coffee. Yeah, wait, 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 all of a sudden. Okay. Stay focused. Okay. Check out the clouds. Sunrise, sunrise. Zippy. Sunrise. Hold on a sec. Okay, sun is coming. They love They're clouds. Beautiful. I know they do. They're already... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get them sick. Look, somebody parked their cell phone right there in a little cove. Lots of sailboats. Catamarans. Huh. 
They did drive on the opposite side of the road. Which makes a lot of sense when you're taking a left. <laughs> but when you're taking a right, doesn't make a lot of sense. The steering wheel is on the same side we are, though. It is. I'll give you that. Maybe that's why I was yeah. confused a <sighs> I almost rented a car. But they do drive very fast. Were there any speed limit signs? I didn't see any speed limit signs. But, I mean, people, I mean, they're not crazy, but they go where they're getting where they're going to go. The taxis are, are kind of kind of fast. They are. Those beautiful palm trees right there. So, we're reading Luke 22, 22 through 30 today. So, okay. so this, he just had the last supper. He's sitting, this is at the last supper. I was going to say, they're still having they're supper. They're still there having supper. And Jesus is talking with his apostles. He's shared his body and blood, and now he is talking okay, with them. Okay, the bread and wine. Yes. Okay, so. The Son of Man will go as it has been decreed, but woe to that man who betrays him. They began to question amongst themselves which of them might be who would do this. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was considered to be the greatest. Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them. And those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors. But you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the ones who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? It is not the one who is at the table, but I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials. And I confer on you a kingdom, just as my father conferred one on me, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And all God's children said amen. disciples were trying to pick apart Jesus's parable right then and figure out who the greatest was and Jesus was like it's not actually about you yeah we do this in churches today a lot in America God says serve take care of people help people and we get into arguments about which Bible version is the best what does that have to do with serving people well it's the mind and hearts of humans it's the way we Jesus says, serve, take care of people, love people. Sincerely, you don't have to, sh you don't have to show, hey, this is what I do, but I mean, it's different at church because you are volunteering. And then somehow we, we get caught up in other subjects hmm. sometimes. 
I'm not talking about our church, but I'm talking about American church. Sometimes. Well, we already know churches argue amongst one another. They can. Who's got your favorite music? Who says the best sermons? On that judge, you know, kind of judgment on the sermon. That's yeah. What you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you now. You should have said it this way. Are you sure that that was meant that way? I got you. But you know, it's good when you talk about it. I mean, you and I have some really great conversations, especially after church. Because we talk about it and, you know, really, a, you know, break it, break it down. And I think that's really what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to apply it to our own life and contemplate it. But not necessarily apply it towards others. I mean, it's good to be mindful if others are applying the Bible to themselves. And it's not about the sermon. Yeah. It's about God's word. The sermon is simply pointing you to the word of God, which is truth. It's not about a feeling. It's about an action. Open your Bibles. And pray. Yeah. Prayer is very much important. So we're going to pray for you today. In beautiful, award-winning Pauly's Island. That y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm. We're going to make new friends here in St. Thomas. We haven't gone as far as to start a Pauly, I mean a St. Thomas Peeps. Cause that would seem like work <laughs> but it would be interesting to see who has the best pizza <laughs> we've seen one pizza box since we've been here i know but kind of where we're located is kind of a little bit isolated i mean they, they don't recommend walking on the roads <laughs> and there's not really sidewalks not here i mean there's around the place we're staying but yeah when you go on the streets there's not a lot of sidewalks not a lot of bikes <laughs> ready to sign out of here beautiful no, we're waiting for the sun it hasn't come up yet so. i think this is where it's gonna get right there no it's coming i promise you is it's it coming. If this was like 45 minutes later, yeah, I would be like, we gotta go. Wind is blowing, y'all. <laughs> it feels good. You should show them the map, like, kind of like where we were located. That was kind of cool. You still have that? Well, I sent it to you, I thought. No, oh, in that picture. Pretty but sure. It was, it was crazy because, like, you had to, the way we sit on the globe, it looked, I mean, we're south of Polly's Island, like, direct south. But the way we sit on the globe, you have to turn the island around. See where we are? Yeah. Is that the picture you're talking about? No. It's closer to the island, but it's okay. I mean, hmm. it was like the way the island sits and where we're actually located on it. Don't worry about it. We'll do it later. You ha we had to like turn it to go to the east. It was really, really cool. That's one thing I love about the Google Maps and stuff. Like you can flip them around. See, right now we're pointing <laughs> to the east. And this is where we are. So now you can see it. See how you have to kind of... So you had to turn it to the east. Yeah. To north. So we had to turn to the, make sure we were going east. Yep, that's where we are. So that's like that peninsula's right there. But you know, we live in a lot of places with peninsulas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although in Polly's, we're in Isthmus. 
isthmus? Yes, we're in an isthmus. An isthmus? Yes. It's beginning to look a lot like isthmus. <laughs> so. What you what you want for isthmus? <laughs> In, hey, in America. It's Thanksgiving Day, though. I know. A lot of people get ready to be very busy. Chelsea and I are getting ready to go get snorkels. What's funny is I didn't even think about it. I've had, I have like a 25-year-old snorkel set <laughs> sitting in my closet. So... Things to remember when you get ready to go to certain places for vacation. <laughs> Pull out the old, what is it, dust covered <laughs> snow mm. set. <laughs> Alright, I think they've seen the sunrise. This no, is, no, this it's is coming. coming. It's coming. It's only 20 minutes in. Come on, man. It's really cool to look out and see little islands and giant things. Yeah, those are islands out there. Get ready to go visit St. John, which is right there. There's a little ferry close to us. So we can go over there and go to St. John. And the Virgin Islands was made up of three islands. I think they were saying something like that. There's a lady up in the um, center that's talking to some children, teaching them. So it has St. Croix, St. Thomas, and St. John are like a little cluster, or their own little pod. How are you going to look at it? There's, uh, I mean, there's lots more islands. I thought it was cool that the, the taxi driver that brought me over here it was Sunday and she said as we pulled in right to where we're staying she said oh wow you're staying right next to my church oh. and there uh, we looked over at it and it was literally right at the entrance to here where we are this is lime tree where we're staying And I got a picture of her church, I'll share it. That's cool. Wish I'd done that yesterday. Of course we have our church virtual. It popped up. And I think our pastor, Don Williams, if I'm not mistaken, I think he he preached somewhere here. You know, yeah, he used to he, he used to have a he used to have a church here. Right. So we might have to do a little hunting. See if we can't find it. That's right, I forgot about that. Can you imagine? Yeah, it'd be fun to check it out. The churches of Saint Thomas. about fishing conditions. Yeah, I've heard the fishing conditions here are okay. very, very, very good. <laughs> you might want to pull up the app and just see what they say. Oh, well. Right, there it is. Yay. Hmm. Did you see that? day amazing Monday
some some people are cooking. It smells good here, doesn't it? A lot of a lot of things blooming. It smells like, smells like flowers. Everything's green. And the wind has just been straight from the east ever since I've gotten here. So it just smells like ocean. Swimming in it is like a bathtub. I mean, truly 84 degrees temperature in the ocean. Of course, the big difference about the ocean here is there are rocks. Yeah, there's rocks everywhere which is cool. And then it's, the other thing, yeah, it's 38 degrees in Polly's Island right now. Hey. And it's 78 hey, here. Hey, squirrel. Yeah. You were saying something about the rocks. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, it's it's really salty. The ocean temperature okay. is salty like crazy. The ocean temperature is salty or the ocean? The ocean. <laughs> <laughs> And it's 78 here. Of course, it's sunshine and cloudy at home. They don't have rain today, do they? All right, there's the sun, y'all. We did it. <laughs> we might have to take a little walk over there to the hill so y'all can see it coming up over the ocean. We can try that one tomorrow. Yeah, we'll try that one tomorrow. We've got to find a new spot. Beautiful. Sure was. Let's put on our tinnies. And she said that one lady says she walks that road every day. But it's pretty safe first thing in the morning. So we'll do that. All right, friends. God bless you. And God keep you. And God help you make His choices. The best choices. Today. And every day. Right. You stay right there. I'm going to see you. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you got to see her. What? There she is, the teacher of the year. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. You're funny, Santa. All right. Yeah. Roosters are crowing everywhere. Loving it. Y'all have an amazing day. importantly Jesus loves you look at the flowers y'all all right we're signing out I promise So this is where we're pumped for the sunset. Yeah, that works. It's an actual old cannon there. Oh. Oh, I was showing them in, in inside the cannon. There might be a bird in here or something. I'm sure they enjoyed that. <laughs> Crazy. There's our beach. Yeah. Well, we really had to be at Hill Palm and meet this one. There's some rocks up under that water. Okay, we're signing out. Have an incredible day.
Oh, <laughs> my